The D audio has successfully test fired its man portable anti tank guided missile today at the field firing range in Rajasthan. Chennai based Garuda Aerospace has opened its operations in Sri Lanka, and the company aims to be present in at least 50 countries over the next few years with an allocation of $10 million. The global demand for ammunition is estimated at $15.5 billion, and it is expected to grow to $22 billion by 2032. Australia has criticized the revised AUKUS agreement, which mentions that at any point of time, if the United States or UK thinks that they don't have enough submarines for themselves, the US and the UK can unilaterally pull out of AUKUS alliance on a year's notice. Cochin Shipyard has operationalized its international ship repair facility, that marks a significant milestone for the shipyard as well as India on the ship repair front. Data Patterns has successfully developed two critical components for the upgrade of the Naval Dornier 228 aircraft in a remarkably short time frame of less than a year, that includes a maritime patrol radar and a signals intelligence CW suite. Jindal Steel and Power Limited has successfully developed DMR submarine grade steel plates that will play a critical role in the construction of submarines. Jindal Stainless has said that it has developed and supplied 3 mm special alloy steel sheets for the smart missile and will manufacture customized stainless steel and specialty low alloy steel sheets for defense projects of Brahmos Aerospace. The Indian Air Force has projected an urgent requirement for upgrading its MiG-29 fighter jets with new standoff ground attack weapons and associated avionics and control systems. Initially, 24 MiG-29 aircraft would be modified to carry the 180 km range high-speed low drag Mark II standoff weapon, that would require retrofitting additional hardware as well as software on the aircraft. In order to counter the vulnerability of S-400 system to saturation attacks by multiple rocket launchers, the Indian Air Force will deploy the QR-SAM as a crucial shield for the S-400 system. The QR-SAM was originally designed to protect moving armored columns from aerial threats. But the new role has been decided considering the QR-SAM's ability to intercept incoming rockets and missiles at shorter ranges. To further enhance the survivability of S-400, the Indian Air Force is also planning to deploy anti-radiation decoy systems developed by Bharat Electronics Limited, that will protect the system's engagement radars from enemy anti-radiation missiles. The engine division of Bharat Earth Movers Limited has successfully completed the first round of ground trials of the indigenous Tatran 1500 horsepower engine for main battle tanks. The engine exceeded expectations during the trials, and the engineers are currently analyzing the collected data to identify potential areas for further optimization. The next step involves integrating the engine with an older Arjun tank prototype in 2025, that will provide valuable insights into the engine's real-world performance and suitability for deployment. Airbus Defence is revamping its campaign for the Indian Air Force's medium transport aircraft program, aiming to convince them of its operational efficiency and affordability. The Indian Air Force is impressed by the A400M's 37-ton cargo carrying capacity, which is the highest among the three contenders vying for the contract. The Indian Air Force is already witnessing the capabilities of German Air Force's A400M, that has been deployed in the ongoing multinational air exercise Tarang Shakti. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark,